guys, it's Lori. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here. Today I am going to be unboxing my Ipsy bag for the month of March 2021, and I am excited to get into this box. But before I get into it, I just want to let you know if I sound sick or if I end up coughing in the middle of this, I want to apologize right now, but my whole family and I tested positive a couple weeks ago, so we have been home quarantining. We are officially out of quarantine. I am mostly better, but not really fully all the way. Um, I'm super tired all the time right now, but I took a shower today and got dressed and really wanted to get into this box. So I apologize in advance if I sound sick or if I cough or if I just look like a mess. But anyways, I'm on the mend, I'm getting better, and I want to get into my Ipsy bag. Um, so let's get into the box here. Um, when you open it up, this is what it looks like inside. Nothing is actually in the bag this month. And the reason I know that is I actually unboxed this whole thing, thought I was recording. When I got to the last item, I realized that either I never hit record or my camera decided to shut off. It could go either way. Um, I don't know. Okay, so I have already told you this once, but I'll tell you guys again so that you can actually hear it since... I don't know, COVID brain. I don't know if I didn't record or if it shut off on me. It could seriously be either thing. But anyways, the bag this month looks like this. It's got these three, no, four different women on there. And it is lined with red and it has a little message on it. Confidence comes from within. The only item that was in my actual bag this month is the little Ipsy card. Everything else is separate in the box there. It's a big bag. I don't know why they didn't put stuff in there, but whatever. Um, okay, so the theme this month is Stronger Together. Um, the future is female. So Ipsy used to tell us about the products inside of this little card. Now they don't. They do on the regular bag, I think, but just not on the plus. I think it's because they let us choose three items that it's just too complicated for them to get it printed out in time, which is fine. But I miss them having the information about the bags in, or the items in the bag in here. Okay, so let's get into my box. The first item that Ipsy chose for me that I actually was very excited about this month is from Gold Fadden MD. This is the Solution Radical Dil I can't talk, sorry. Solution Radical Dil Difference Advanced Oxidant Antioxidant Serum. Um, I just got, I think two months ago, a different serum. I think it was a brightening serum from Gold Fadden that I have been using. I really like that. So I am definitely excited to try this out when I run out of that one. Um, yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite brands from Ipsy. So, and I think this retails for like 60 or $70. So this coming in my bag, especially with it being an Ipsy choice, um, item because sometimes... The things they choose for our bags are interesting but i'm excited that this is the first thing they chose for me um the second item that ipsy chose for me is the koa life or koa life i don't know vitamin c brightening cleanser i've never heard of this brand but it's a vitamin c cleanser so you know i'm excited to try this out it's kind of a smaller bottle and it looks like it's foaming it doesn't say anywhere on here that it is a foaming cleanser, but I am going to assume, based on the little nozzle thing there, that it is a foaming cleanser, but it says it's a vitamin C brightening cleanser. It cleanses and rejuvenates damaged skin, so, and it also reduces appearance of hyperpigmentation. So I'm excited to try this out. It's a smaller bottle. Um, it's only, well, it's 1.7 ounces, but it seems smaller to me, but anyways, you can't ever have too many cleansers. And a vitamin C cleanser, I really like vitamin C products. So I'm excited to try that out. Okay, and now there's the next uh, three items are the things that I chose for my bag. Um, this is the first item that I chose. It is the Coors Foaming Cream Cleanser. Um, it's Greek yogurt, is has pre and probiotics. So this was one item in the spoilers that I was really hoping I would get this month. So I am excited that I did get to choose this. Coors is one of my favorite skincare brands. So I'm really excited about this. And I will say the only thing that was like stinky this month was that 
all the items that I wanted to choose were in category one for me, so I had to make a tough choice. Um, but this is the item that won out. I almost got the Kosas Oil Foundation, and I believe there was a concealer that I almost picked, but this was the one that I decided to go with since I was one that I'd really wanted from the spoilers. Um, so the next two categories I wasn't super excited about. Like, I did find an item in each category that I was happy with, but it wasn't nearly as exciting as the first category. So this is what I chose for item number two. Um, I wasn't 100% sure about the color, and I'm still not. It seems really light. Um, it's soft brown is the color. Oh, I didn't even tell you what the item is. It's the Anastasia Be Beverly Hills Dip Brow Gel in soft brown. So I'll have to see if I can make that color work. It's looking really light for me, but I mean, it matches my hair. I just have darker eyebrows than ha my hair is, but we will see. I don't think I've ever had a brow product from Anastasia, so I will definitely be excited to try that out. And the last item that I picked is actually more for my kids. Um, I have purchased this previously in FabFitFun add-on sales, and they really like using these. So I got them these Mighty patches. Um, there's 39 patches in here. They're just little stickers that if you have a zit, you put the sticker on it. Um, I think it can be on for six hours. I feel like they, my kids wear them for longer than that. I don't know. Maybe some of the different ones have different time frames. Um, but it's supposed to like help speed up the healing process of the acne on your face. Like if you have a big one or something. So um, I really don't get um, big acne breakouts or anything anymore. But I have four daughters. So these will get used by them. Um, and yeah, that is my bag. I didn't do any add-ons this month. Um, I did get the regular bag, the $12 bag as well. That is somewhere on its way to me. It, I got a shipping notice, but I don't think it's moved. Like how Ipsy like prints the label and then it says it's on its way to DHL, but I don't think it's moved yet. So hopefully I'll see that shortly, but I wasn't overly impressed with it. And then add-ons, there was just nothing that I needed. Um, and I was kind of annoyed with Ipsy that I wasn't overly impressed with my $12 bag. So I didn't add any products on this month at all, but overall, I feel like I got a pretty good bag. I don't think I'm going to be able to hold it all in one hand. I was going to try to like put it all in one hand to show you the items. Yeah, there we go. Two hands, I guess. Um, okay, so those are my items. I think it was a pretty good bag overall. Like, not my favorite by far, but not a bad bag at all. Definitely useful items. Two face washes, the Mighty Patches, um, a serum, and the brow gel if that color works for me so anyways that is my bag um yeah and sorry about the voice and my appearance um yeah i i didn't do make my makeup today so i probably look really tired because i am really tired but i wanted to get into this box and show you guys what i got and i also just really wanted to try out this face wash so anyways that is it I am going to go rest now, but thanks for watching. If you enjoy Ipsy unbaggings or unboxings, um, give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would do that. And be watching for my base bag, my $12 bag, and I have a BoxyCharm box coming. Um, I think it's going to be here tomorrow, so be watching for that unboxing as well. So, all right, guys, have a great day, and thanks for watching.